What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we will solve a problem involving forces or magnetic forces on wires. The problem reads, Suppose that the magnetic field in some region has the form B equals KZ x hat. In this case, K is a constant. Find the force on a square loop of side A lying in the YZ plane and centered at the origin. If it carries a current I flowing counterclockwise when you look down the X axis. Okay, so if you're going to look at this, you can draw it as follows. So this is Y. And Z and out of the page is your x-axis so this is a view looking down the x-axis now it is mentioned here that the square loop is centered at the origin okay so I'm trying to draw the square loop reasonably large it is mentioned here that the square loop has side A so this is A and this is A now it's also mentioned here that the current loop flows counterclockwise so this is your direction of your current if we're going to look at the magnetic field you will see that the magnetic field is positive if z is greater than zero if z is less than zero the magnetic field is negative so translating that here anything above the y-axis the magnetic field is pointing out of the page because remember our magnetic field is directed either out of the page or into the page because that is where we set our x direction so in other words because of this equation above the xy plane where z is positive the magnetic field is out of the page and the magnetic field below is into the page when you're considering points below the xy plane now because of this we can now set we can now determine the direction of your forces along each line segment okay so if we go because there is a divide here we can write an extension of the line here so on top the force on this line would be what so remember that f is equal to i l cross b so l is the direction of i then you cross it with b so i i cross b f is upward so this is your f for the top consequently the f for below so because i cross b bottom is upward so this force and this force will add up together along this direction now on the other hand when the particle when the line this segment of this wire the 
current is going up. So, I cross B, the direction is to the left or to the right. So, this is F for the right and above. However, below, the direction is the opposite. So, this is right but below. In this case also, so I cross B So I cross B The direction is opposite So this is F For the left and above and on the other half the opposite direction so this is F left below so you will notice that by symmetry these forces will just cancel each other so therefore only the forces along the Z axis do not cancel each other so if we're going to compute for the two forces F top and F bottom so F top will be equal to what? I L B and then along the Z hat and we know that um, the length of this segment is A so this is essentially I A B Z Okay, so in this case, the location of Z is A over 2. So therefore, F top would be equal to 1 half A I A squared K Z hat. So this is your F. For the bottom, we do the same, we do a similar calculation. F bottom is equal to I A B Z hat. And again, the length of your Z is A over 2. So Z is equal to A over 2. So therefore, F bottom is equal to 1 half I A squared K Z hat. So therefore, the net force would be F top plus F bottom and this is equal to this plus this so this is equal to i a squared k z hat okay so that's it this is the force on the square loop given this configuration Easy, right? So I hope you learned something today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.